My name is Lenora Lee, and I'm a dancer, choreographer, and artistic director. And today I'm going to show you how we, in our creative process, translate story, written story, into gestures and movement. So the first gesture we're going to learn is raising the pinky in one hand, the other hand. Then you're going to cross the pinky over, bring it back into yourself, and then reach out with the hand. So this came out of two different stories. One person's story is, here's one person, another person, they meet, connect, you bring it into yourself, and this is a separate gesture of grabbing. Breaking out of your own space and grabbing something that you are desiring. From there, we're going to lift our head up and look around us as we bend down. Something propels you to look up and actually take a look around. So it's almost as if you're getting out of your own little world, looking up and realizing there's so much else around you. You're gonna trace the side of your body, go around your head, wipe the tears away, and shake them off. Starting from the beginning, one pinky, the other, cross over, bring it into yourself, and grab. Then you're going to lift your head up, slowly look down. Draw up the side of your body, wipe the tears away, and shake them off. From here, you're going to go into the waterfall, which to me signifies this idea of getting a sense of um, fluidity, softness. Then you're going to pick up a piece of fabric and toss it off. Again, the waterfall. Back of the hand, front of the hand, repeat, back, front. Grab some fabric and throw it away. And that's it. So we're going to put all those gestures together. Pinky, pinky, grab, bring it into your body. Reach out and grab. Lift your head up. Slowly look down. Draw up the side of the body. Wipe the tears away. Shake them off. Waterfall, back, front, back, front, grab the fabric, and toss. I encourage you to explore your own stories, to write them down, to translate them into movement, because I think there's an exciting part to uh, thinking about the translation of ideas from your brain to the paper in words, from the words to movement, maybe from the movement to music. And I think there are lots of ways to communicate and to express ideas that aren't necessarily through verbal conversation.